weather's cooling down, we're getting ready for the holidays, and I know that you've been perfecting your pumpkin pie recipe and haven't had time to check out the trends for the fall. So I've taken the liberty of doing that. We are looking at some exciting things this season, and I'm gonna show you how to get that on a budget. So the first thing we're gonna consider for our budget fashionista is to look at things from the past season. So that takes us to the spring. Now last spring we started to see the rise of the sneaker trend, and this is something that has stuck around for this season as well. We've seen it in designers like Michael Kors and Chanel did a really famous runway show this fall with sneakers and kind of a more casual lifestyle approach. Now in the past, sneakers have been reserved for soccer moms and workout gurus. Well, I am a soccer mom, so anything that will transition and become easy into my life, I'm totally embracing it. So I love the sneaker trend. I've been wearing them with dresses and just with jeans. I got these white kids and these floral printed ones. I've been wearing them everywhere. I hope the sneaker trend never goes away. Now the next thing we're gonna look at is the pieces that are already in our closet. And in the spring we saw a lot of the pastels. And we continue to see the pastels going into the fall, but this time it's with our coats. And I don't get a lot of wear for my money of coats, so I went ahead and stuck with this skirt that I already bought in the spring. It's a very springy color, so paired with a springy outfit, it's not going to be right for fall, but if we can dress it up a little bit, make it a little warmer, cozy looking with maybe some wool tights and a knit sweater, then this will allow us to incorporate that trend without having to buy a brand new coat. Once we've looked at the past season, we're gonna look from last year. And last year we saw a lot of leathers. And we've actually been seeing leather on the runway for a few seasons now. Everything from quilted to colored. And this is something that's gonna stick around for a while. So I was able to pull this out from last year. It's still on trend. It's gonna give me a lot of wear. I've been wearing it a ton and will be able to continue to. So I don't necessarily need any new leather pieces. The same thing goes for the furs. They've been around for a couple seasons and I can wear this vest into February and March when it gets a little warmer, but it's not quite summer yet, so I get a lot of wear out of this. This has the on-trend fur collar and also it has a military inspiration, which we continue to see for, it usually comes in and out of style every fall. Once we've chosen things that we already have, now it's time to make our shopping list for things that we want for the future. And I always keep a wish list. And this wish list will help me to avoid impulse buys of things that I see that I think I have to have. I just go back to my wish list. So the first thing on my wish list this year was a knit. And this is a brand new fabric this season. It's super cozy and comfy and great for the fall. This one I got at Banana Republic. I waited for a sale, so it was 30%. The last trend is my favorite of the season. This one is our opulent blooms called by Ted Baker. It's kind of the dark floral. And for this one, I just went ahead and said, okay, that's the one trend that I'm really drawn to and loving. But a sneak peek into the spring tells me that the future is looking bright. So as much as I want to just buy everything in this dark floral, I know that in the spring coming up, we're going to be back to bright florals. So I'm just going to hold on to these maybe couple of pieces and I think this color palette with the lighter tones mixed in with the darks is going to be able to help me wear this into spring as well. Now I love building my wardrobe around quality, timeless pieces, but when it comes to trends, I stick to fast fashion. Stores like Target, H&M, Forever 21, they're going to be really wearable, disposable things that when the trend is over, I can be done with the item and not feel like I spent a fortune. So these were a few things of, in the Aubergine color that's really trendy for fall that I picked up at Target. And this color is the winter version of the color of the year Radiant Orchid. It's just kind of a more saturated, deeper, richer color. So I found this hat, these shoes, and this nail polish in Vixen that all are on trend for the season. They're quick pieces. They were less than $20 each and all on trend for fall. So I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time.